Hey everyone, it's Serge from SN3 Gaming. Today I wanted to do my first unboxing video uh, from Verpal Controls. My order finally just arrived and I'm happy for that. <laughs> I think it's, they're pronounced Verpal. Uh, for now I'm just going to call them VPC. That's their other nickname. So what I have here is the VPC Mongoose T50CM3 base and the VPC Constellation Alpha Prime. I had I ordered these back in December. It's now February 2nd, so I did have a bit of a wait, but it's okay. Uh, I, you know, I did I did inquire a few times. I didn't, you know, uh, I I just was curious where the status was while this was back order, and VPC was th was grateful enough to respond to me quickly, gave me let me know things that was going on. So yeah, yeah, if you are looking to get a flight stick from them, just expect that extra wait time more than usual. So let's get with it. I have a size comparison with my, um, here's my uh, Thrustmaster, the Thrustmaster uh, Warthog. I, the reason why I'm replacing it is because you can't do this, you can't do the uh, access twist. And in my rig, that's kind of needed. What I've been doing instead for the rudders is using these two uh, switches, but I had to get rid of the hot buttons for up and down because uh, it would sometimes, when in my angle when I'm playing, you know, it would just get into that into the way and call it and do other functions that I was that I didn't need at the time. So this should alleviate that getting the the old rudder twist back uh, of course you know I could use my pedals as a rudder but my Fanatec pedals I don't want to do that it's not very comfortable and where my keyboard is laid it kind my legs get in the way so so yeah I, I really wanted a flight stick that had the the twist so let's get let's get what's the, the unboxing I've never done this so I apologize and open this guy up. Oh, that's the grip. We'll, we'll save the grip for last. I thought this was the... Oh, this is the mongoose. Alright, so we get a box within a box. So there's the box within the box. <laughs> Uh, open her up from here. Ooh, nice packaging in here. Very padded. Very secure. And here we go. Here is the base. Well, let's do. Let's get all the other stuff out first. Uh, so here are the cams and springs. I'm probably going to use the cam, the space cams. Well, here's the cable first. I'm sorry if I'm jumping from one place to another. Like I said, I've never done uh, an unboxing before. So, so here's the cable, USB. Of course, it comes. With, it disconnects, and I, I like that. That's really handy. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Um, there's that. Here are some extra parts and pieces. The springs. You know, looks like for different styles of springs if I prefer I think a heavy, heavier thicker spring a more firmer spring and these are the cams that go in the uh, in the base and the cams have different have different styles uh, and I think I'm gonna by default use the space uh, fairing one and um, oh it's really cold yeah well it was it was out probably traveling it's, it's very cold over here right now so <laughs> but yep so here's the cams for that different choices um, and now let's get the base and here's the base definitely bigger than definitely bigger than the base for the uh, for the, I can't even think right today. 
the, the base for the warthog. There it is. Um, oh, it's got places where I can mount that. Okay, cool. So yeah, so hopefully that won't change any of my comfort level. It probably will raise my arm up a little high, and I think I'm gonna want that because sometimes my arm it feels like my arm is too low where I put it on my rig. So I think that might actually be a good thing for me. If you're hearing tapping uh, in the background, that's because my dog is just walking around. Uh, she likes to do that. <laughs> so that's the base. And as you can see, very nice looking base. Here is the where I can connect the USB. You guys can see that hopefully. Right here. Um, lots of other things. I can do the, uh, I'm going to have to, look, of course, look up online the instructions to see how to remove this and get the other items set up. I thought the base was going to be empty on the bottom, but thankfully not. That's good because then I can um, work on uh, replacing what I need to. And also I'm going to mount this on my... Mount this on my rig. And the way I mount it on my rig is I actually use these, uh, and I'll show you with, with this. I don't like hard mount it or anything. I use these, these kind of like Velcro stickers, uh, these hard Velcro. Uh, what they do, it, it's like if you go, it's the type that you use if you have like a little toll pass for your car. You put it on your windshield and it stays. And this has not been, um, you know, these... These are, these are pretty sturdy, so I've been keeping with that. I was actually worried if I was going to have to replace, use this base for it, because I did order a base, a little bigger base for this, and that's still on the way. Uh, I ordered it the same day, but hopefully it, it does come eventually. All right, well, let's go to the, uh, the flight stick itself. I already opened it. Uh, they call it a grip, so... Give me one moment while I pull this out. <laughs> of course, it comes with its own box in the box, too. Oh, how do I open this guy? Oh, like this. Okay, there we go. VPC Alpha Prime Grip Constellation Series. Painting for flight. <laughs> Space flight, which is what I ideally wanted. All right, so it comes with comes with uh, some tools, the Allen wrenches, which I am going to put on my rig. Oh, there's like a little shorter one. That's good to know. This, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a button replacement. Oh, okay, cool. It's a little button over here. All right, uh, anything else before I pull out the, the big guy? Doesn't look like it. All right, here we go. And here she is, the the stick. Uh, well, let me get you a better angle. And that is the, there are the buttons. Oh, I do like the clickiness to that. Definitely more switches to it. That feels more, yeah, I do like this. It, it's not as, it definitely has a metal feel to it, a nice metal feel. Um, the brake, I, that looks nice. I mean, everything just looks sharp. If you do a comparison with the other... <laughs> yeah, wow. I, I do dig this, yeah. Of course, the switch over here. The wheel. There's going to be so many... Um, so many more options I can use with this. And then, of course, down here is where I can connect it. Which is another great thing, because... Having to connect this and disconnect it multiple times when I switch to race mode and flight mode. And of course I can adjust the hand portion, but I feel like this is actually pretty comfortable as it is. Yeah, but you know, I'm gonna test it out of course. Now, um, you won't see much, I won't be doing any demoing it right now. In fact, though, it's Thursday I'm recording this, so I will be streaming tonight, uh, and I'm actually streaming Elite Dangerous. So that means uh, I will be using this and it will be a, my test session. So I'm going to record, I'm going to put parts of that on this video 
and then give you my, I wouldn't say final thoughts because this is going to be my initial thoughts. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to do multiple parts on this video. Uh, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and stop it and in the next, well, it'll be a couple hours for me, but in a second or two, it'll, for you, you'll be seeing the stream. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Later. Oh, there's the hide. I found him. He's got one more heart to go. Let's get him out of here. But, uh, yeah, Lord Shadow, well, thank you for coming on to my stream. Uh, I, I do Elite Dangerous once in a while. I don't do it every week. Uh, the only game I do that's constantly weekly is iRacing on Mondays. But... I do th play this game often. Wow, he just looked at me and I already lost my canopy. And he is now hugging me. I need to land. <laughs> oh, he's hurt. He is big mad. Big mad. Let's land. Launching. Where's my dock? Where's my dock? Where's my dock? Okay, it's six. There we go. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Yay. Fifty million. 50 million. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and there's a fifty million bonus. We couldn't have done it without you. Heck yeah! You just made a hundred million right there, my dude. <laughs> oh, and I see him. And then we I see him. Still got Cyclopses and shit. And we still got clears to go. Yeah, the update has made this so much easier to grind for uh, for creds. Money, hundred thirteen million. Back at it. Uh, sorry about that. I, I wasn't sure. I, yeah, that was my bad. I, when I have like nothing going on, I try to put put another ad real quick. <laughs> sorry about that, man. My thing never tells me when ads show up, so it's just like, oh, I, maybe I should do one now. I just got affiliate, so. Uh, I feel like there was something else around. It's gonna. We're probably gonna get another. Uh, it'll the ins it'll reset shortly. Did I get cost? Why do I keep getting costed? Oh yeah, I'm from looking at. Hey, geez.
So my initial thoughts on, on the stick, uh, I really like it. It's a great item. Uh, I'm, I definitely miss doing <laughs> the Z-Twist. Uh, that's been something that I've been lacking for a while, and it's really helped me with my space flight and my combat. Uh, I strongly recommend people pick it up uh, if, if it's within your budget. It's not a cheap flight stick. Uh, you'll, take, you'll see the, the combination of the base and the, and the Alpha Prime and it'll start to add up, but in my opinion, it's it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's great quality, and it, to me, is just it's just way better. Lots of options to work with. The only, I got a few, couple of issues, though. Uh, when you plug this into at least Elite Dangerous, it's gonna come up as a generic joystick, which means it's pretty much, you're gonna have to put everything from scratch. Uh, map it all yourself. You know, it's not like it's going to be like where it says it's a Thrustmaster, uh, Thrustmaster HOTUS and it's already mapped out everything for you. You just change a few things here and there. Now you're going to have to reset everything. Uh, and even my throttle, which was already mapped, lost all that. So I had to fix that as well. But that doesn't take too long. And, you know, maybe at the most an hour to get everything the way you want it. And then you're going to have to change here and there. Uh, the other issue I have is the palm rest. Uh... I wish it was padded, so I, it was very uncomfortable when I was using it at first, so I actually went to Michael's and got some little sticky foam paddings and cut enough so it went over to the palm rest. And since then, it's been a lot better. I might put one more layer over it to, to just for that added comfort, uh, but yeah, that, that's it. I mean, I can't think of anything else. I mean, the only other issue is if you do make the order, Keep in mind, it's going to take at least a little over a month. I ordered mine in early December, and it's now early February, so it took me near two months to, to receive it, uh, almost pretty much two months. So just keep that in mind when you make this purchase. Just just don't expect it to show up like next next week. <laughs> I mean, I consider this uh, I consider Verpal the Fanatec of flight sims flight sim products so you're gonna get really good quality when you do get it and for me again it's it's worth it um so that's it for this video i uh, would like to thank for everyone who's watching uh please like and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on twitch links on the bottom and if you can please uh please check out my fundraiser that i'm doing for children's national hospital in washington dc trying to reach a goal of two thousand if you can uh, anyways contribute, that'd be appreciated. If not, if you can share the link with other people, that would also be great too. Until then, you guys have a good one and take care.